In today's video, I'm going to be discussing about the often overlooked conversation between believers, and that's forgiveness. Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're brand new, welcome. The purpose of this channel is I'm here to show you that we are real apostolics with real problems, with real solutions, all solved in a divine way. If that's something that vibes with you, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Hit bell notifications so you know exactly when I post a video. And if at the end of this video you like this video, well, hit the like button as that does help the algorithm so this video can get viewed more. But before we get started, I hope you all like the setup. I just changed some things around um, in my room, so definitely comment down below if you like what we going on here. I'll be upgrading one more thing, which is I'm getting a big, big softbox light to get some more professionalism, whatever you want to call it. So, and I think after that, I'm, I'm pretty much done. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Man, let's get, let's get, Let's talk about that. Let's talk about forgiveness among one another. So first and foremost, you know, let's start with the obvious. It is not easy to forgive. I truly believe that in our human nature, we just don't want to. Like, it's, it's not within us. Think about it. Our sinful nature is the exact opposite of what God is. So for us, we refuse to forgive, and for God, He can't help but to forgive. You know, as apostolics, uh, you know, my prayer is for you all, you know, as far as getting some ideas and some ways to help you forgive a person who has wronged you or something you're holding on to your heart. Really, the key is it's just about letting go and letting God take over the situation. You know, I had a, a really tender moment yesterday after after service, which, by the way, yesterday's service was unbelievable. The Spirit of God fell down, just took over the end of the service. And, and, and you know, when God takes over, you know, who are we to stop Him? But uh, He came up to me and, and, and He said these words that really just, really inspired me to make this video today, you know, about forgiving, how to forgive. And He says, you know, the war that we have against each other, it's, it's not against flesh and bones, but it's against spirits and, and principalities and, and, and evil, uh, evil spirits not seen in this world. And he was quoting the verse, Ephesians 6, 12, which says, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood and enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. And I remember thinking, you know, he's right. He's, he's absolutely right. We, we're fighting against each other, and, and that should not be the case. And I started doing a little research, and I remember learning in college when I was uh, studying anatomy and physiology, hearing about a particular disease, studying this disease called the autoimmune hemolytic anemia. And basically, our white blood cells, which are, which are the blood cells inside our bodies that protect us from disease and fight disease, well, what happens when those white blood cells start fighting against our red blood cells, the one that brings oxygen and nutrients to the, the entire body? What happens when it starts fighting those and it starts, you know, turning against itself? And, and that's really what happens when we, when you and I, um, you know, my last video, if you haven't seen it yet, click here, but, you know, talks about God doesn't like drama. And definitely one of the results that can come out of drama is someone gets hurt, someone holds a grudge, someone refuses to forgive. And when we turn against each other, it's no different than, than this disease I just described to you. You know, it's the body of Christ fighting against each other. And you know who's suffering at the end of it? Not only ourselves, but the world is suffering. They are not seeing the love of Christ that God says we are supposed to exemplify and, and demonstrate to one another. Ultimately, we're supposed, to, we're supposed to love our neighbor. God said that in His Word that the first commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. But the second commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. And inside loving your neighbor, there has to be forgiveness. You just can't remember. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love, love is un. Read through it, right? Love is is a lot of things, but it's definitely forgiving. 
And so we have to forgive one another. I mean, there's really no other way around it. And so I really want to end this short video with just giving you the word and letting the word do what the word does best. And that's changing you. That word had to change me to get to a point where I had to forgive some people in my past, forgive some other believers inside the church. And now I just want to relay that same information to you. So the next few verses, just 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 read it, right? And, and these are direct instructions from God himself to the believers, right? Let's not be a disease and fight one another. That fight is for the world. <laughs> that fight is for unseen things. It doesn't need to be against one another. Ephesians 4, 31, 32 says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Matthew 6, 14 through 15, If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Luke 17, 3 through 4. So watch yourselves. If another believer sins, rebuke that person. Then if there is repentance, a change of mind, a change of way, simply coming up to you and asking for forgiveness, forgive. Even if that person wrongs you seven times a day and each time turns again and asks for forgiveness, you must forgive. Let that last line of that verse really echo in your hearts. You must forgive. How can we not forgive others when we've been given the ultimate forgiveness for our sins? I challenge you as you're watching this, remember what the cross means. The cross is the ultimate sign, it is the ultimate symbol of what forgiveness is. Our sins put on Jesus Christ's body, God in flesh, as a sacrifice, a perfect sacrifice, one sacrifice needed for all our sins. We know what the price of sin is, if you don't, Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free, it doesn't stop there, continue reading, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus has come, died for you and me, laid a perfect example of what our life should follow, and that's following in his footsteps. And at the end of the day, we are called to be like Christ. And so if he came down from a heavenly, perfectly order to come down to our disorder, our unholy place, die for us, forgive us for our sins. Who are we to not forgive one another? So I hope this is an encouragement for you all. I hope this is speaking to whoever needed to watch this video, that if there is that brother or sister that's wronged you, and again, if they've wronged you purposely or by accident, we have to forgive. There is no other way around it, and I promise you, if you would forgive that grudge that you're holding inside your heart, that's going to go away. It's hard to start that conversation, but if you start that conversation and just let go and let God take over, I promise you it's really not as bad as you think it is. A lot of, a lot of times our imaginations and our own thoughts makes the situation much more than it really is. But God's a simple God. Forgive one another. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, I'm just a real apostolic with real problems, with real solutions, showing you all how it's all solved in a divine way. My name is Brother Mario. Peace.